we are going to liquid cool all five of our editing workstations together. So those are like Core i7 6 cores and GTX Titans. Then we're gonna take that water, we're gonna take it out of the building, and then we're gonna put that on a massive radiator. So we're actually taking all that heat and dissipating it outside, causing not only our systems to run cooler, but also our room in which we do our work to be cooler. Well, the whole actual goal of the whole room water cooling project was to cool down the room, where you could have done a much cheaper and easy solution of actually installing a, like, AC unit, but instead we've decided to go along with this. How effective will it actually be? Not hugely, but hopefully it'll help a little bit and be really cool at the same time. One system in particular was the main inspiration for this project, and that's Edsel's machine, which had a couple of problems. Number one is that the system itself was always overheating, because he always had his six core processor pinned at 100%, so they were kicking out a bunch of heat into his quite inadequate CPU cooler, which was then not keeping his CPU cool enough. So problem number one was that his system was actually overheating so much, like 80, 90, sometimes even above 90 degrees, that it was thermal throttling, and he wasn't even getting all the performance out of it. And then problem number two was that the person sitting in front of it was constantly complaining about the heat in the room. So with the whole room water cooling setup, we can cool the system, make it more powerful, because we got a 12 core Xeon for it, and make that person complain less by making the room cooler. Nope. Originally, I hadn't planned to paint the room. The project was going to be much smaller scale, and it was going to be just about liquid cooling the machines, but I realized that if we're going to take the room apart, clean it up, presumably, and pull all the systems out of it, well, this is a great opportunity to take it from a place where we all sit at our computers and work and turn that into like a really cool workspace that really feels like Linus Tech Tips. Make it feel like like home and like a place that's really cool to be in and work on our craft. For some reason. I got the drum sheets in my heart. Would you hear that? Oh my God. It fell off, that's why. What? Look, it detached on the side. Yeah. Fortunately. Really, Taryn? Oh my God. Yeah, this is terrible. It's a <laughs> So I drew upon my experience painting houses and training painters to get that done in kind of a Linus Tech Tips gray. And then as much as I've got a fair bit of painting experience, I'm a little bit rusty, and I have some experience training people who have never painted before, but Nick has really never painted before. Keeping the quality level up was a bit of a challenge as well. Nick did his best though, and between the two of us, we managed to get the whole job done. Although, by the second coat, I did pretty much most of it myself since it was, uh, you know, the second coat is when you clean up the mistakes from the first coat a lot of the time. Finishing the first coat of paint was really nice. I was able to put down the roller and kind of step back and go, yeah, this is starting to look really cool. And I wanted to kind of turn to my sides and say, hey guys, don't you think this is great? But I realized everyone was gone. So I wandered downstairs and found out that while I was painting, instead of everyone else kind of proactively figuring out how we can move the project forward, they were doing arts and crafts and making a shield for Luke and pinning buttons to turn his shirt into like Intel button armor. <laughs> All that might have been like okay if at least they had done a decent job of making yeah, button armor. It was terrible. What? In battle, I am cleaning over everyone's old drives so that when they get their new computers, it'll be like using the same drive. So Brandon can have his viruses, which he refused to take care of. <laughs> Taryn can have all his slow, unoptimized drives and everything, and we don't have to reinstall anything or waste any time. Freaking Taryn, this whole time, has been telling me that he has an SSD in his system, and that his slow boot is unrelated. That's Terran's drive. I wonder what the slowness of his computer's been about. Damn it, Terran. Having a pile of like cases and graphics cards, and I mean, even the water cooling gear alone was a pile. Like having this mountain of hardware that was actually at, like as tall as me was uh, 
really made me better understand the scope of what we were undertaking. So apparently the project was pushed up a day. I actually had no idea, was not told by anyone, but that seems to kind of be a Linus Media Group thing. There's like, you have to do this. At some point in time, somehow, no one knows, no one's going to be helping you, and we're not really sure when. But you won't have enough time, so just make sure you do it really quickly. Like, thankfully, this actually gets finished before we move on to something else. Well, it turned out Linus didn't actually check the specs for the radiators before he bought them. So when I tried to mount it on the top, there's fittings that would normally be on the bottom of it that then pressed against the top of the case. So it put it up on an angle and you couldn't actually get screws all the way through the fan, the top of the case, past the fitting and into the radiator. So I had to drill holes in the top, which was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Linus. So Luke actually ended up having to drill holes for each of the radiators before we could even start assembling the systems. That took up a ton of his time that otherwise he would have been able to spend helping me build systems. It got to the point where we actually had to recruit Edsel to help us build computers, even though his system building experience is not really that much. Hey, this is pretty nice to me. Literally. Nice. That one was mostly painless. The next one should be the second easiest of all of them, so. All right. And then it was pretty much time to water cool the systems. Something that I ended up doing the vast majority of myself. So that's getting the tubing on the fittings for the CPU and GPU block, uh, running it outside of the case. And then at that point, I handed them off to Ed, who was the one who actually figured out how the fittings worked for the quick disconnects to install the, uh, the quick disconnects at the back on both the top radiator as well as the tubing coming out of the inside of the case. Installing everything in the systems was a monumental task and everyone had to chip in in ways that they haven't really done before. I even had Edsel helping me assemble GPU water blocks onto the Titan cards because that can be very time consuming and I needed to move on to the next thing that I could do and Luke was drilling holes in cases. So we had to parallelize the workflow a lot just to account for how time consuming everything was going to be. Well, because I'm a plumber, I deal with this sort of, sort of situation of um, soldering copper together and dealing with PEX lines and different fittings. Um, for myself, I would say maybe a two, the typical homeowner or uh, person that would try to tackle this on themselves would probably be closer to eight or nine, maybe even a titch higher. It all depends on your skill levels. This project, after I understood what they were wanting, I thought it was a very interesting project. These are all what you call dry fit. Just to see if everything fits in the right places. Cool. And then we'll hold it up like that, solder it. And then these are all three inches apart, three inches apart, nice and neat. Hooray! From December 13th to 20th, 2014, you can save on select Intel CPUs, NUCs, and SSDs with special holiday rebates from select retailers. Click now to learn more. Uh, so we got the vinyl decals in, and they're actually pretty big. Huge. Almost life-size. For Linus, it is life-size. We had to pay some guy in the parking lot. Sure. Oh, uh, radiators. Yeah, I was just doing the exiting for the camera. Oh, I, wasn't actually oh, I thought you were leaving. No. Okay. I think a little bit of confusion was bound to happen, and I think overall, um, we're a little confused. <laughs>